Major coup for Derby, and there is the man of the moment. There is Wayne Rooney, who, uh, as the handshake with Philip Koku, the Derby boss, confirms, is going to become a Derby County player. He'll also be joining as a coach with a view to eventually one day becoming a manager himself. It's a move that will uh, go through in January. That's when he'll leave the US, where, of course, he plays for DC United uh, to head to Derby and start work with them. But uh, this okay, is the site that Derby cool. fans probably thought they were never going to see. Wayne Rooney at Pride Park sat there ready to address the media about becoming a Derby County player. The Championship side pulling off one of the coups of this transfer window. A stunning story it really is. Former England captain, Manchester United's record goal scorer, is now facing questions from the media. Let's hear from Wayne Rooney. Very, very quickly, how did it come about from your perspective? Yeah, it was obviously um, my agent. Um, spoke to the, the club and the owners here. Um, it became apparent the it was a deal which, which could happen, so I had a decision to make um, and the opportunity to, to come back in England and play, but also to take up um, a coaching role with the club and, and work under Philip was, was too, too great for me to turn down. So, yeah, no, I'm delighted to, to be back here um, and I'm looking forward to, to come back in January and, and trying to help the team push forward in, and hopefully and push for promotion. Mel Morris, the club's owner, has told us he sees this as signing a player first and foremost and as a coach with experience secondary to that. You've talked a lot about your ambition to become a manager in the future. Is that how you see it as well, though? You want to play first and foremost? No, first, firstly, I'm, I'm a player. Um, I feel I've got a lot of quality which I can bring to the, to the squad. So, as you said, first and foremost, I want to come in and play and try and help the team. And then, um, secondly, I want to try and learn, obviously, of Philip and his, his staff to, to gain experience for, for obviously, when I, I do stop playing and, and going to, the, to, the, to that next step. You won 16 major trophies, England's all-time leading goal scorer. And yet here you are talking about the appetite to play in England's second tier. Where do you still get that desire from? That's football. It's, um, it's what I've done my whole life. It's what I love. And... Um, until my body says that you can't do it no more, then I'll keep, keep doing it. What about the Championship? It can be pretty unforgiving in terms of the number of games and the demands. Are you ready for that? How do you feel? Will you be able to play in every game or do you think you'll have to manage it a little bit? Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think, obviously, I'm a player who, who knows my body. Um, I know um, I'm experienced enough now to, to know the, if I feel like I need to... I maybe can't play in one game and I have to sit out that game, then obviously I'll, I'll speak with the manager over that. But no, I think I feel good. Um, I've played in, obviously the whole season in the state, so um, yeah, I feel good. Positionally, might we see you maybe dropping a little bit deeper in, in the year and, and 18 months to come? Perhaps playing a bit more of the quarterback role, like you saw David Beckham doing. I wonder whether you know, that might suit you, whether you thought about that. Yeah, I think that's something which I'm sure we've still got till January to to see that and obviously um, the manager where, where he sees me playing and but that's not a problem I feel I can play in the field I can play as a striker so um, I'm sure in certain games um, that might change. You talk very highly of Louis van Gaal and, and the tactical now he had the coaching ability that he had at Manchester United of course he's a countryman of, of the man sitting alongside you Philip Koku did you gauge his opinion or, or from anybody else connected with him before finding out about the man alongside you? No I think once obviously this opportunity was, was there and I had a decision to make. I spoke with Philip on the phone and um, you know to, to see what the situation was with with him. I think it's important you speak to the manager and, and get the manager's opinion and um, after the phone call I was happy with the situation and, um, and wanted to come here so um, but I haven't spoke to Louis or um, to be honest we've been trying to keep it quiet so I haven't really spoke to anyone on it. Um, where are you at the stage with your, with your coaching badges? I know you've started them. Yeah, obviously in the process of, of trying to get through them as, as quickly as I can. And um, I've got someone from the FA coming out to the States next week to obviously continue with them. And um, yeah, I think as soon as I can get them done, obviously the better. What is it that appeals to you about being a manager at some stage in the future? I mean, we've seen some of your England teammates, Frank Lampard, Stephen Gerrard, Etc. have done incredibly well. Phil Neville with, it, with the England women now as well. 
Um, how do you see it uh, at this stage? Is it there, you know, ploughing a furrow that you want to want to follow? No, I think it's great to see them obviously going into management, but it's something which it's not just what they do now. It's something which I've always had the ambition to do. So, um, and obviously, it's great that these young English managers are, are getting an opportunity. I think I feel over the last 15, 20 years, um, we haven't seen so many play ex player England players going into into management. So it's great to see them doing that. But it's something which I've always wanted to do and. Um, when that time is right, of course, that's what hopefully I can move into. But as I said before, my, my, my first aim is to, to play. And DC United, you felt you wanted to go back there and finish the season with them. With, with them. Explain that to us. Yeah, it's only fair um, to them. That they've been fantastic to me. Um, we're in a good position in the league and you know, there's nine games left of the season. It, I think it would be... Um, you know, disrespectful for them if I didn't finish the season and try and help us get into the the playoff spot and and try and and try and win a trophy. So, but no, I think that was that was always the plan, and and, and then obviously to join here in in the January. Last question for me to, to Philip, if that's okay. I'm sorry we left you sitting there for a while, but you've got a, a bit of a superstar sitting next to you, so we had to concentrate on him for a while. Um, Philip, what a, what, what, how much of a coup is this? How much of a, of a surprise is this to get the man sitting alongside you as a Derby County player come January? Well, of course, it's a great signing for the club and for, uh, for the team. Uh, play with uh, his quality, his experience. Uh, he's absolutely a, a big asset for the club. Uh, also, the way we work with the long, uh, yeah, a lot of youngsters coming up, and uh, so to help the team uh, to develop, uh, and I think we can help him in, in his future role as uh, being a coach, being a manager. Uh, so I think it's, it's a perfect moment to join together and, and uh, to work together. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We've got a question here, if you can just pass that back. Thank you very much. Wayne, how much of a family decision and a lifestyle decision was this move to come back to England as well? Yeah, it's obviously something which we looked at, obviously four young boys, and um, it's, it's certainly for my eldest boy, it's a, it's a crucial time in his, his school, his school um, period. So. Of course, that's first of all. That's the most important thing to me, and um, it's something which we looked at, and and then also the opportunity to to come back here and, and play, and obviously, as I said before, be part of a, the next transition in my career. So, um, no, it weren't solely on family. It was uh, a few factors which um, led me to come back here. What sort of a manager do you eventually want to be? Is there anyone who you, who you think of when, when you think of your management career? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think that's, that's in the future, I think. It um, be foolish for me to sit here and say I want to be like, you know, <laughs> of course we all want to be like the great managers, but um, that's for the future, I think. For now I'm going to concentrate on, on playing and then obviously coming in January and, and trying my best to help the team. Um, you talked about how quickly the deal was done and about how you tried to keep it under wraps. By keeping it under wraps, obviously, it meant that Derby became the place you would definitely end up. You could have given yourself options. Why did you choose not to? Why did you focus in on Derby County once they came? No, there, there was options there. There was other clubs who um, were making offers and inquiring um, about me, but I think... Um, I made the decision to come here, and then um, that was it. So I weren't going to go back on my decision. Um, so I think for the, you know the last week we've we have obviously been trying to to work out a deal um, with DC, DC, which obviously allowed me to, to go back there and play also. Um, and then we got to that decision, and here we are today. So um, no, I think. You know, as I said before, the opportunity to work with Philip and his staff, and and then come here. And I think not only that, Derby is a club with, with great ambitions. Um, I think you've seen over the last few years the 
they're putting a lot of money into the club. They're trying to to take that next step to get into the Premier League, and I felt like it was a you know a place where I could come in and use my experience and and try and help them to achieve the goals. And presumably, you must believe they can finally take that step after so long now. Yeah, of course. I think the the squad of players is is a good squad, and I'm sure. Um, the manager will, will try and get a few more players in now, whether that's now and, or January. Um, and yeah, of course, you'd have to believe that you know your, your squad is good enough to to take that next step, and um, we'll work hard to make sure we can do that. Philip, on Thursday, I asked you whether you're replacing the youth that are gone with youth coming in, and you gave me an answer that included talking about how important it was to have experienced players. Was that because you knew this was going to happen and you, you had this in your mind as someone who's coming in at that stage? No, this is just the way I think about it. Uh, how you need to balance your team and how you, as a, as a manager, can fit in a few young, talented players alongside yeah, some experienced players who, who can guide, who take the responsibility during games and trainings. And, and, so the youngsters can focus on, on only the football. Uh, I think this is the way to get in uh, youngsters from, from your own academy. What most excites you about having Wayne Rooney in the team? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a star player with, with extreme quality as a player. A uh, great career. So it's not only uh, the quality of the player we get in the, in the squad, but also uh, his experience. Uh, and, and this is something that the team will benefit a lot from. Uh, not only young players, but the whole team. Uh, we set goals, uh, how we can achieve the goals. and uh, So we're extremely lucky to have him. Wayne, um, you know, you've got absolutely nothing to prove as a player, we know that, but this is a new job for you, and when you start a new job, you're excited, you're worried, you're nervous. How are your feelings about stepping into coaching for the first time? Yeah, I think, as I said before, it's <laughs> it's what I want to do, and um, obviously I don't want to keep talking about it, but my main focus is playing and learning. So I think with any new role you, you take up, the first thing you want to do is is to learn that role and learn, you know, the best things to do and the, the, the things not to do. So I think that's what I'll be doing um, certainly um, in the next 18 months and and trying to, you know, learn good habits which um, which coaches do. So um, of course I've played under some great managers and um, certainly towards the. The last five years, for instance, um, you, you try and look at things in different ways with one eye on, on going to, into that role. So um, I'll keep trying to learn over this this period and um, give my best on the pitch. We, some of us will remember when you were a teenager and you were breaking into the game. There'll be young lads at Derby who will be that same age looking up to you. How important is it to, to show them the right way? If you're learning, they're learning as well. How exciting is that for you? Yeah, of course, it's exciting. It's always great for for any player to see young players coming through and, and enjoying the football. And I think that's the main thing for young players, as the coach said before. Um, if you can get young players on the pitch enjoying the football but not overthinking it, and then um, you have experienced players around them who can at times guide them through through games, through periods in games, which which you will need. I needed it um, as a young player. Um, I was lucky to, enough to have some very good, experienced players who, who helped me when I was a young player. So I think that's a natural, natural progression in football. And um, now I'm on the end where I can hopefully help them and guide them. Philip, I can ask you, I mean, Wayne is going to be joining you in January. If all goes well for you, you'll be in a position there really to push on. How much of an impact can Wayne have at that stage of the season for you? Yeah, of course, could be of uh, great influence. Um, uh, for Wayne join, joining us in, in January, um, uh, on the pitch and off the pitch, and uh, the decisions will be made. Uh, if you look at recent years, in, in, in March, April, 
so we have to make sure we are in a good position uh, in, the, in, in that moment, and uh, well, we're going to fight for it. Okay. Anybody else?